you know, I feed this to people on tour sometimes, and if I say we're going to eat a fried pizza, they think it's going to be like Come Kentucky fried pizza, you know what I mean? My name is Scott, I live and breathe pizza. But Mark is a pizza purist. This is not pizza, it's not pizza. I'm about to kick you out. I'm trying to bring him the craziest pizzas I can find. They all claim to be pizza, but are they really though? You know these Naples style pizzerias where it's like huge puffy on the outside? This will puff up in the oven. I eat your pizza all the time and the outside's a lot, it's flatter than a lot of the other ones. You know, no, it's, it's got not. that dry crunch. No, it's not. It doesn't get the like, airy kind of thing going on. Yeah, it does. That's but why I, I roll it out. Like, every time I see you do it, I wonder, like, do you buy a specific wine bottle? You wanna try? Yeah, hey, of course I wanna try yeah. that. You gotta caress it and... Okay, now you're getting weird. The Naples guys, they won't no. touch this unless it's just with their hands directly. Correct. Although they, they, they're doing weird stuff. They don't even bake the pizza, they're frying the pizza. You ever have that? It's a cool thing. They do it at a uh, Keste. Not pizza. You're such a stickler. It's like... I've had fried calzones. But you never had fried pizza. No. You're such a good pizza maker, but you've had like no pizza. They got There's me all these pizzas chained to this table. I'll bring you one if you let me drink out of this bottle of wine. It's all yours. For real? It better be the good stuff. It's, it's not the too good stuff. So I think Mark's definition of pizza is based on what he had growing up in Brooklyn. The style we're gonna get in the financial district at Caste is what you would have had growing up in Naples like 300 years ago. So we're gonna try the fried pizza montanara and see if he thinks it's pizza. We're just gonna see Roberto. Oh, hell yeah. That's what we're gonna get. So many obstacles in here. Oh, that is not what we're getting, but it's still good. Wow, quite a reveal. Hey, hey Roberto, hey, what's, what's going on, brother? I make some dough here. So I see, man, you're always making enough. dough. I'm glad you got a lot of dough on you because I am here for a pizza, obviously. Of course. So, yeah. Mark and I are eating a bunch of pizza, and you know how Mark's kind of like a little set in his ways. I'm trying to expand his horizons. Wonderful job. Yeah, so it's a tough one, but I feel like if I feed him the Montanara, with the fried crust and the roasted tomato. I think that's like close enough to what he thinks is pizza and far enough that it's a little bit interesting for him. You want to sit down or I can make the pizza for you? Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. You're the best. I'm gonna go get a glass of wine too. Oh, oh foosball. I always know I'm in good hands in Roberto's kitchen, but today I started to doubt whether Mark would consider the dough, which is fried first, to be fit for pizza. Pizza tastes best served right out of the oven. 500 degrees across the board. No exceptions. I should have taken some drugs before this because I'm too tense right now. I'm Roberto Capruccio, I'm here. Um, um, Queste, today we talk about uh, the fry pizza. This ingredient this is the, the dough we make here in the house. When the, by his uh, flour, he was made over Andrea Sago in Italy. Here we have uh, the salts for the Montanara, the smoked water buffalo mozzarella has come from Italy, cherry tomato that we age in the house. We uh, cut the skin off. Cut the skin off. Skin off. And they put a lot of herbs inside. So, and of course, all the ingredients we got, most ingredients, we, 90% of the ingredients come from Italy, a part of its table, so. And now we can start to make pizza. Uh, the fried pizza. So we have very gentle ways. The one you don't put enough on top of the pizza, the pizza has to come out, a puff up, and the air try to come out, and uh, that is a problem. Try to come out, uh, that is a problem. Pick up the pizza, and uh, we go in the fryer. I spread the ragu salts on top, some basil, smoked mozzarella, a little bit grana. Let's go inside the wood fry oven. Fry pizza. Hey, Scott! All, All right, right, Roberto! So... Awesome, man. So, do you know this pizza? Yeah, man. Classic, Montanara. Which I had never heard of until 
a few years ago. Standard pizza dough, right? There's nothing different about the no, dough itself. No, the dough is the same. It's not like this is a new invention. You're frying the dough, pulling it out, topping it, and then the, the big difference, that twist on an old thing. Back into the oven for a few yes, seconds. Yes, so that is, uh, was a big difference because it uh, evaporated the oil and have a, plus to give it this two time, two different cooking way. I gotta just take a quick peek at this. There's a crust on the base, followed by a sauce, and cheese directly on top. I don't want to tell you something. No, I want to eat this, man. We've been Come talking on. about it for 45 minutes. Go ahead. That smoked buffalo mozzarella. Yes. Different game. So, I mean, this looks like a pizza to me. Yes. But, I mean, I'm from America. I'm from New Jersey, and I'm proud. Jersey strong. Pizza or not a pizza? What does something need to have or to be or to look like for it to be called a pizza? I think pizza from Naples is dough, cooking and wood fire oven or fry. Because yeah, but I'm not from Naples. You're, yeah, right. You're not from Naples either. You're outside uh, of Naples. I, I'm no racist in that way. <laughs> but I'm wondering, what do you say to a typical American customer and they say that that's not a pizza? It's a fry pizza. It's no regular pizza. If you don't like, I will change and make another one. As a fry, this cook you know, in 34, 45 seconds inside the fryer. So I stay one minute. It's fast. That is really important. Because you start to cook, cook about five minutes, it's different product. Are you saying that you go to a New York style pizzeria and it's not pizza? We'll call focaccia in Naples. Oh, so you're so Naples specific. I love it. Because I think it represents why is Naples here. I don't want to become another pizza, uh, spaghetti meatballs. Nothing I'm against the spaghetti meatballs. Like this? is not something you would have gotten in Naples a hundred years ago. It's a technique, it changed a little bit of technique, but uh, the pizza is made by hands, artisanal product. It's not all the pizza come the same, much, much better when you fry. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's a, it is a pizza, like by look and by touch and by taste, absolutely. Even though it challenges what most people think about a pizza, which is that it's dough that gets topped and then baked. Thank God. So I've had Keste's fried pizza, the Montanara, which is definitely a pizza. But we gotta fry one more up, bring it back to Brooklyn to see what Mark thinks. <laughs> Salute. Ah, I'm not into it. It's just a little too sharp for me. Okay, let's go change the glass. Let's go do another one. All right, Mark, I got the fried pizza. Check it out. It looks like pizza. All right, here goes. Uh, how did you leave the best slice here? You left the best Pretty slice. Pretty thick, the crust. I figured it'd be a little bit more crispier. What's the read on your palate? It, it, it's. Is there, a, I mean, what? Scott, from? it tastes like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pizza to you. Pizza. Tastes like it came out of a wood oven. It did, I mean, they finished it off in a wood oven. Do they? Yeah, they after the toppings go on, they do the melt in the wood fired oven. It's fantastic. It's awesome, right? You gonna get a fryer? No. Mark and I agree, the Montanara from Keste is absolutely 100% a pizza. Anybody was to tell me this wasn't a pizza, I'd tell them they don't know pizza. So next time you're in the financial district, drop by, try it for yourself. Thanks for watching Thrillist. We'll see you next time on Really Dough. He's good at fried stuff. Really? Yeah, you had his arancini. Dude, he's doing no, the um, frittatini. The mac and cheese, the fried mac and cheese balls. Well, why can't you just call it fried mac and cheese balls? Ask him! Why are you yelling at me? Don't shoot the messenger. See the bubbles coming back? Yeah, but it doesn't get that like airy kind of thing going on. Yeah, it does. Your crust has that like <coughs> crunchy, dry. Different, it's different. It yeah. puffs up, Scott. What's up? Oh. oh, you're just trying to show me it's gonna bubble. Yeah, of course it's gonna bubble. Dude. Is that puffy enough for you?